For a fifth straight season, Palisades and Banger meeting in week one, and Doug, pretty good night for the Banger Slaters all around. Yeah, it was, and we were wondering you know, how both of these teams would perform with a new starting quarterback on both sides of the ball, and key for both teams that hope to contend in the district playoffs. But Greg Campbell gets his first start, and this was a positive sign for Palisades defensively. Greg Borges in the, the quarterback with the interception, but the second consecutive high snap in the first two snaps for Palisades creates a safety 2-0 lead. Campbell comes right back. Noah Hill is lined up on the hash, or I'm sorry, right Riley Stapp lines up on the hash, wide open for touchdown number one, and it's quickly a big lead for for the Slaters. Then Stapp again, they sneak him out of the backfield. He's able to convert for touchdown number two, Campbell, and then he finds MJ Sue on a slant. This, you know, you wouldn't even know that Greg Campbell is making his first varsity start after playing wide receiver last year. Third touchdown pass, and then this is the big play that was the backbreaker. A little pump fake. There's Stapp number eight slicing through the defense. They kind of let him go after stopping Palisades with five seconds left before the half. Pump, find number eight. Another touchdown pass for, for Campbell, and it's a, a big lead, and all Palisades needs to do is score one more time to implement the mercy roll. And they would get that. Noah Hillis will punch it in from one yard out in the first drive of the second half to make it 36-0. The only touchdown of the night for Palisades, John Hobart, the junior, who had four TDs last year, scampers in from 15 yards out. A safety as well for Palisades, but not enough as Paul Reduzzi Slaters open up with a 36-8 win. Four touchdown passes for Campbell, but they were very impressive impressive on the defensive side of the ball as well. This was a defense that returned seven starters who knew they were going to be stout, and they were indeed tonight. So the Slaters win it over the Pirates 36-8 to in week number one of the 2023 high school football season along with Doug Heater on the scene at Kintnersville. I'm Steve Degler for the Service Electric Network.